What's up, Blockheads? I'm back in early access. Today, I want to take a closer look at the new power coupling block, particularly its potential for floating invisible block builds. First, some stats. It costs 5 complexity, it weighs 0.6 kilograms, it has zero drag in its current state. No guarantees it'll stay this way, but let's hope. At zero strength, it still has a good amount of spring, so it won't exactly be rope. More like steel wound cable. It takes all the colors in the current rainbow and can be made completely invisible. And the most important question, can you piston glitch it? Yes, you can. Hallelujah, praise Melvin. And yes, you can play Jedi with it. Today, I'm interested in its floating invisible block properties. I modified my Scion fighter into a new detached nacelle heavy assault bomber. I want to see how much the nacelles flex when I'm in flight and if this concept is practical or not. First, a little dogfight to warm up. Bring it on, ding dogs! Ha <laughs> ha, who's a meatbag now, nerd? Oh, well, I, me, I still, I guess, still. Made of meat. Yeah, the nacelles are definitely flexing when I use the throttle. You, you can see the reticles for my cannons jiggling. Uh, those are both mounted on the nacelles. But I'm not feeling it in the ship's handling at all. I think we're good to go with this concept. Yeah, that's what you get for spamming all the EMPs, you jerkbags. Okay, this floating nacelle concept feels pretty darn good in space. But how's it gonna feel with more gravity and drag? So it honestly feels about the same in atmosphere. I don't have any vertical stabilizers on the nacelles, but if I did, I think I would be feeling a lot of aero forces playing havoc with my control. This concept may not be practical on every build, but it still has a lot of potential. This camera angle is redonkulous. How much does this look like Star Fox to you right now? Yeah, I'm really vibing this camera angle. It's not gonna be my main one, but I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot. Thank <laughs> you. 